Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you're not doing well, I'm happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. Hey guys, today is Saturday, September 30th and the energies in the day adds up and reduce to number one vibration. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. So when it comes to uh, the spirit animal, Today we are working with the, uh, with the ants and with the fire ants, the thought that immediately came to mind is there's so much to choose from. There's so many options and you're completely aware of all the options that you have. But this also brings me to a thought and of, and, and, a, uh, and something I was listening to earlier about vision. And when we have a clear vision for our lives, our lives become less confusing. When we have a clear vision for our lives, our vision dictates the choices that we make. It dictates the foods that we eat. It dictates the company that we keep. It dictates just all aspects of our lives. So this brings me to say, you know, someone in the position to choose and just not knowing what to choose. And the reason why you might not know what to choose is because the lack of vision when it comes for, when it comes to your life. And, you know, when it comes to having a lack of vision for our lives, you know, we don't know what direction to go. Whenever I'm doing my natal chart coaching sessions and I'll do this um, thing with my clients and ask, uh, ask questions to help to get to a certain understanding of, you know, where a person is, you know, I realize that without certain clarity of, without clarity and clear vision, when it comes to certain things, it's like all of us are sitting on a boat, drifting in the middle of the ocean and just going absolutely nowhere. Where once we're clear and have clear vision for our lives, then we can direct our sails. And even though we might not be where we want to be, you know, everything around us becomes um, a part of, becomes a tool, um, creates an opportunity for us to practice our skills and our gifts, and also to help to add value and empower us as we prepare ourselves and go into the direction that we want to go in. Also too, with the fire ants, I'm getting with all of the di distractions that you have around you, you find yourself feeling exhausted, overwhelmed, and spread extremely thin um, from all of this distraction. I think about, say, how the day is the 30th. And the number 30th um, is very similar to the number one. And the energies in the day adds up and reduce the number one vibration. Even though the number one deals with new beginnings for today, I feel like these new beginnings are somewhat of a um, premature beginning as things will uh, move forward. And in a day or two, like a real new beginning will set in or you know things will finally start moving forward where to me um today's new beginning kind of feels like a new beginning during a mercury retrograde where it's like something starts but some things may be overlooked because of where the focus is and when i think about the number 30 um i think about how the number 30 and the number one are similar both of these energies deals with new beginnings but in a different way where the number one is an idea the number three is a is a tangible beginning so the number one is you know a fresh start a spark when it comes to a thought and the number three is the product of that thought so both the number one and the three are new beginnings but the number three is a tangible one where the number one is more of a spiritual one like the number one is um the father energy the number one is masculine energy is extroverted energy where the number two is nurturing it's feminine it's mothering it's introspective you know introspective or um introspective or introverted meaning it gain it gains energy from being you know from reflecting from you know going within 
where the number three energy is masculine like the number one which both number one and number three gains energy from taking action being action oriented and when i look at the fire and energy it brings me to say a person could be action oriented and busy but busy absolutely doing not a darn thing so when it comes to say a day like today you know you want to be careful as you could find yourself being super busy um doing a whole bunch of nothing being super busy trying to be everything to everybody else and absolutely nothing to yourself um when it comes to say the tarot we have the uh knight of pentacles in the reversal position in the upright position the knight of pentacles energy is a slow moving energy it's a practical moving energy um, and it's also immature energy. So when I think of the Knight of Pentacles in the upright position, it would bring me to say um, a new beginning, but a new beginning that is a slow transpiring beginning, one that takes time. It could be a new financial opportunity, but it's one that take its time, takes time as it's something new. Um, but in the reversal position, it brings me to say, um, it brings me to stagnation, like finance, like things feeling, um, stagnant financially you know reflecting on financial situations and things feeling stagnant or that might be the thought process that one is having and from that thought process is like this overwhelming feeling comes over you and it's like i need to be busy i need to do something you know something needs to happen and you know for those of you who are entrepreneurial and who have worked for yourself you may have realized that feeling within yourself from time to time, you know, especially in the beginning as you adapt to like, you know, a, a, an entrepreneurial lifestyle where I always say like, you know, an entrepreneurial lifestyle is like a spiritual path. It's for those who are willing to do the work and depend on themselves solely where it's like, you know, when it comes to say other paths, you know, you can depend on middlemans and others to get you to where you're going. Or when it comes to say an entrepreneurial path, like a spiritual path, you know, if it's going to be, it's up to me. Like that's the saying, if it's going to be, it's up to me in the sense that, you know, you're not waiting around for anybody to save you because if you're going to get saved, you got to save yourself. You know, when I think of like, um, the spiritual path, it's like, okay, if my life is chaotic right now and there's a mess around me, I can't blame the devil or anybody else. I have to stop, reflect, take accountability and ask myself, what is my role in this? What is my role in this? I feel like that's what sets, um, you know, successful people and success to me is, you know, what is your definition of success? Not the one that you've been conditioned to have, but the one that you have, because, you know, this brings you happiness. This makes you feel fulfilled. But I feel like the difference between people who are successful and people who are not is the level of accountability where accountability to me is responsibility what is my role in this how am i responding to this situation that's creating this kind of outcome that's happening me becoming aware of my role in it my responsibility how i am able to respond so that i could respond differently in the next situation opposed to having the same thing that keeps happening over and over again with different people but yet still it's not my fault it's their fault but it's like the only common denominator is me you know so when it comes to say you know the energies in today it brings me to that where it's like you know like i was saying with entrepreneurship and spirituality you know things might not be what you want it to be or you might not be where you want to be and with the fire and energy you might find yourself feeling like you need to do something now and whatever you do now will change everything when you know it's just the season that you're in you know as an entrepreneur over time i learned that there is seasons in the business just like there is seasons in nature and when things are going amazing you know you have to do the due diligence and make sure you manage it properly and when things are not going so great know that it's an opportunity to reflect and rest because soon it will be followed with a time that is so busy so it's like you can't catch your breath and it brings me to being in the salon and how at times i would just be a mess and a mess in the sense that when things are slow i would find myself feeling like okay i need to go and you know do this that and the next and it's like you know i'll find myself filling out or entertaining the thought of filling out job applications or things like that never really following through on it 
because you know things get busy right away and i'll go from my phone barely ringing and it's like oh my god things are so slow to the point where it's like my phone is ringing so often to the to where i'm annoyed because my phone is ringing so much like make that make sense you know what i mean i'm annoyed because people are trying to spend money with me all because whenever i was in a resting season instead of resting i was working myself up getting overwhelmed and just not surrendering and accepting that this is just the season that i am in at the moment so when it comes to you know the energies in today that number three energy is a resourceful childlike energy that's going to want to do something just like the number one it's masculine energy but you know today is saturday and saturday is ruled by saturn energy and one thing with saturn energy saturn brings order to chaos and with saturn and pisces this is where we are able to materialize our dreams by coming up with you know by respecting our time by coming up with some kind of an order or structure in order to make that happen the moon is still in aries so our inner world is in a place where you know we're willing to it's, it's motivated it wants to take action it wants to do something so much to where we will jump in the swimming pool and then realize there's no water in it end up wasting a lot of time and energy where if we had just sit still and relax for a little bit things would eventually make sense things will come together the moon also conjuncts the north node and with the moon conjuncting the north node you know this brings me to say our inner world is focused on destiny but it just brings me to the feeling of like wanting to have a quick fix feeling like something that we do today you know doing something today is going to change um you know is going to yes whatever we do in this moment is creating our future of course but whatever we did yesterday and the day before that and the day before that all of that is creating our right now you know what i mean so it's like it's like thinking that doing one thing today is going to okay an example i'll give it's like imagine you know someone you know that you really care about that you wanted to be there I uh, missed out on seven years of your life and they showed up and thought that they were going to be able to make up all that they've missed in just three hours with you and got a whole attitude with you because you won't um, allow them to um, allow them off the hook for being gone for seven years. Um, and, 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 and instead, you know, they could show up for three hours and be the greatest person ever. And it's like, it's just not working. And them frustrating with you, frustrated with you because it just won't fly. You know what I mean? Where instead you would prefer for them to consistently gain back your trust, consistently, you know, over time show you that you can rely and depend on them being there. I feel like that's the same thing when it comes to the energies in the day where it's like, you know, we want to, we, we want to do some kind of a quick fix or come up with some kind of a quick get rich type of idea and it's like it just won't work so as i like conserve your energy and instead think of a practical strategic way of recreating your situation of changing your life if that's something that you would like to do so saturn is the ruler of today saturn is being positively aspected by mars and libra so with saturn positively aspecting mars and libra this is where you know when it comes to friendships and connections we can learn from the people in our lives um, you know, learn from our different resources, utilize the different resources that we have in our lives. I think about a lot of the times how, you know, a lot of us have a lot of resources in our lives, but we're completely unaware of the resources that we have in our lives. Number one reason might be because again, a lack of vision, a lack of clarity of what it is that we want exactly. So because we don't know what it is we want exactly, we're unaware of what could benefit us to get us there. Um, saturn is uh being squared by uranus conjunct um conjunct jupiter both in retrograde and taurus when i think about that square and the t-square between that and uh venus and leo uh, it brings me to again you know based on traditional ways of doing things and getting so comfortable with what things used to look like or how we've been conditioned to see them it makes it hard for us to trust our dreams to take action and materialize them into tangible things the moon is now um you know squaring pluto and capricorn so with the moon squaring pluto and capricorn i think about the moon is in a place where we're impatient and it patient is required to make anything work you know it goes back to the saying you know the secret to success where success is a system 
and it takes time, you know, for us to achieve success because we have to focus on something and, you know, take our time and keep moving forward. It brings me to say, you know, how, you know, success is like a marathon. You start a race that never ends opposed to entering a race and think that we're going to do a quick sprint and make things happen opposed to, you know, figure out what your vision is for yourself. Focus on that vision and keep moving in that direction. Um, I love though how the moon is positively aspecting Venus and Leo. With the moon positively aspecting Venus and Leo, the moon is in Aries. The inner world is in a place where, you know, we're aggressive, we're direct, we're, you know, that fire. We have that fire burning within with also to this strong sense of destiny and that positively aspecting Venus in Leo. Um, you know, it, I feel like that also has to do with the momentum and the energy where it's like we think that we could do everything today and right all the wrongs or make everything perfect today when it's a matter of being clear about where it is that we're going, why we're going there, why it's in alignment with our truth. And then, you know, slowly take one step out of at a time. Um, and that brings me to in the past, whenever I would try to um, create like say fashion, instead of me focusing on just making one amazing garment, where of course I would make a, one amazing garment over and over again when I was making something for myself to go to an event or something like that. When it came time for me to do it and share it with others, you know, do it and maybe sell it because, you know, I get requests all the time. Instead of just focusing on one thing at a time, I would instead focus on this grand production and then exhaust myself, get overwhelmed, and then quit before I even start because of all that overwhelming energy. Where it's like I was thinking the other day, like what if I was to just focus on just making one thing and, call, and, and you know whatever the size is of the thing that I make, that's just what's available and whoever it fits, you know, it's theirs. Opposed to me having this production um, corporation type mindset um, and, and feeling like, uh, this whole mass production mindset when in all reality, you know, I've always wanted to create things, exclusive things for whoever, whoever, you know, it's made exclusively for whoever. I don't know who I'm making it for, but whoever it fits, that's who it belongs to. And it's like, that's the mindset that I should have always had. But instead I would get consumed um, with this mindset that I developed in school. When I went to school for fashion at the Art Institute, you know, I realized that when I was done with school, like I had to completely find myself all over again, because just from going to school, you know, we were we were taught to fit in in a, you know, corporate setting. And when you fit in a when you fit in in a corporate setting, like your whole identity, what makes you unique, you know, what makes you special, what makes you uh, different, all of that is wiped away. As you know, it's almost like, you know, that saying jar head is like all of that is dumped out your head as something else is poured into it. And I remember looking at like pieces that I would create before school and pieces I create it created after and how the pieces I created after were so safe and boring because I was trying to fit in a box. And then something clicked to me where it's like I think about like designers like, say, Betsy Johnson and how um, amazing her clothes were for the people who loved it. And when she tried to go commercial, she didn't fit into that commercial setting. And then before you know it, her clothes were in, you know, marked down so low and just didn't matter anymore. Like when it, like how it mattered when, she, you know, she was exclusive and wasn't commercial and was just focused on, you know, the people who were in alignment with, you know, what she was creating. So, you know, that brings me to, you know, some, you know, someone needs to hear that today where it's like you might find yourself trying to fit so many molds where instead, you know, just be authentic to, you know, this point in your journey and whatever it is that you're trying to do, whatever it is that you're trying to create, opposed to trying to spread yourself thin and be so much for so many different people and then turn around and being nothing for no one and not even yourself because you've spread yourself so freaking thin. Such a pleasure sharing this message with you as usual. If you'd like to book a natal chart awareness coaching session with me or check out my exclusive weekly contents only on Patreon, the links for that is in the description box below. Before you check that out, please let me know you're here with me by dropping me a red heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you and look forward to seeing you tomorrow. 
Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.